where, where you, you don't get completely shunned if, if unless you uh, abide by uh, what everyone else thinks. And, and then what everyone else thinks is you're told what to think, not asked to, th you know, you're, you're sort of, you must think this. It's not like uh, you, you have freedom to think as and, and talk as you wish. Um, so, yeah. Um, What's the solution for this? I mean, like, obviously this is... That somehow we have to, I think, approach the woke, the woke mind virus and... and um, and, and have truth be what matters more than anything. I mean, I think it's funny that, you know, Harvard's um, motto in the Harvard standard, it's veritas, truth. That's, and, and the founders of, the, of, the, of Harvard were right to have that um, on their shield, the shield of truth. But is Harvard the shield of truth today? Maybe not. Well. You know, I, I hey, Elon, so we're, we're all um, on this space because of our um, our belief in freedom to transact. And obviously, Jack was a big uh, Bitcoin lightning guy. Um, what can you comment on uh, freedom to transact, Bitcoin lightning, Twitter, anything we could we can look forward to? Well, uh, you know, the. I think that's actually more powerful even than, I think, controlling than, than censorship, which is control of the monetary system. Um, if you have control of the money, monetary system and control of transactions, you can literally stop someone from, you, know, the, you, the, you can starve people to death, you know, can, you can throw them out of their homes. Um, so we have to be very careful about, like, who's controlling the money system here and, and what, what rules and regulations are they going to put on on transactions, it seems like PayPal has strayed pretty far from the path of that. Like they're, I've been banned PayPal from PayPal. Is, is, is seems to be moving in the direction of social credit and and where it, and restricting transactions, um, and uh, you know so that's 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 concerning. So and like, I do think there is a role for crypto in the future, without speaking to any particular particular crypto coin, um, as a means of ensuring that the monetary system does not get completely corrupted. It, essentially, it's, it provides competition to the fiat system. So that if the fiat system becomes um, overly restrictive, then crypto will grow. Like basically, the, the better that the fiat system uh, works, the, the less prominent crypto will be. And the worse the fiat system becomes, the more uh, crypto will grow. Are you so concerned the about the moves towards central bank digital currencies? I don't think they know what they're talking about. <laughs> um, no, not really. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people have theorized that FTX and the fallout there was a ploy to push us toward that centralization and the digital dollar. Falling flat in its face now. Um, Correct. Well, uh, well, this. I think they're complaining a few things. First of all, all money is almost almost all money is digital already. Um, the, the the fiat monetary system. For practical purposes, consists of a series of heterogeneous mainframes running uh, antiquated COBOL. That's the actual money system, by the way. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. It's not like <laughs> some rickety mainframes running ancient COBOL um, and and running and doing everything in batch mode. Um, that's the actual monetary, the fiat monetary system. Um, so. Elon, I I've got. Yeah. Can you hear me um, first? Is it working now or no? It is, so, but but it's di it is digital, no, uh, but not not in a very good way. Uh, and and w whether banks create some their own cryptocurrencies, I think is somewhat irrelevant. People will use the cryptocurrencies that they think will accrue value over time, and not use the ones that that don't. Um, Doge. But, but, Doge to the moon. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, the hey moon. Elon, could you could you shed some um, spill the beans on the whole uh, SBF finance and Twitter? Fundraise. Uh, I think there's not much in the, not many beans to spill here. Um, the I had one conversation with SBF in May, where it was it was like half an hour. He was just talking like a mile a minute. Uh, I think he was clearly on some stimulants, um, and uh, and he, he kept talking about himself uh, and FTX, and which is weird because the call was supposed to be about Twitter. Um, and I was like, 
you know, shouldn't you want to ask me some questions about Twitter instead of talking about yourself? Um, and it, I, my, the vibe I got there was like, this is this is my bullshit meter, like was redlining. So I'm like, uh, but I, but everyone kept saying, you know, Morgan Stanley and lots of other people kept saying, oh, SPF is the best, and he's got tons of money, and so that's why I agreed to speak to him. But then I, my like I said, he set up my bullshit meter and. But which, frankly, I don't think this was like deeply deep, deep insight wasn't necessary. If if, if someone's talk, calling you to talk about investing in, in a big transaction, they should be asking questions about the transaction, not talking about themselves, and in, and and talking at the speed of an auctioneer. So <laughs> that that's you know it didn't require deep insight to figure out that the, the bullshit factor is high. So you didn't um, end up with any client funds accidentally. Yeah. Um, so, so unfortunately, Mario is having connection issues, so you're unable to hear him. And Mario, I was going to say my DMs are open if you want to relay comments or questions for Elon there, and I can try to help field those. And also, Alex is one of the accounts that was uh, wrongfully suspended by Twitter, and you uh, fortunately brought back. I wanted to give him the opportunity to ask you a question because he's had his hand up, if that's okay. Okay, sure. Hey, um, so I was coming under platforms, right? also cover other requests by the Biden campaign and the DNC to censor individuals. Yeah, we can't. We can't hear you, Alex. We can't hear you. I can tell, barely tell, hear tell, Alex. Like, tell, yeah, just tell, tell, yeah, tell, um, tell, tell Elon to mute his mic and Alex unmute. Probably, but I cannot hear him. Yeah, tell him, tell Elon to mute and unmute just so we can hear Alex, because I think Elon's background noise is, is muting Alex. Hey, Elon, uh, why someone we tell Elon. Elon, 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 Elon can't hear me, so yeah. you have to tell him Kimotara. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling him that he, he can't Hi. hear you. That's okay. No Can you? Just give me one second here, real quick. Um, Elon, you you said something, you know, really important, and that is that truth matters, and uh, you know, this is really what this is all about. Because without free speech, we don't have truth. And I would like to ask you, what is your opinion? about Julian Assange uh, and Edward Snowden. Shouldn't those guys uh, be uh, center stage when it comes to free speech and truth? Uh, you know, shouldn't the US government leave Julian Assange alone and let him be a journalist? You know, I, I don't know enough about uh, the Assange situation um, to give an accurate answer. Um, I mean, th there are things where, you know, uh, that where national security stuff is involved, um, that that you know I think do need to be kept secret and just in because you know uh, you know there's like nuclear secret secrets and there are you know the, the, the things where bad actors if they had access to that information could do bad things. So yeah, but when when um, when a journalist exposes war crimes, right? When a government just uh, goes and invades a country and kills uh, people, uh, you know, against uh, international law, like uh, when exposures like this are being made, isn't that important so people see the reality of wars and understand how uh, some of that stuff is is really bad? Yeah, I mean, I generally think that. People should, like I said, that, that people should have be able to know what's going on in order to make sensible decisions. Um, you know, there's, uh, and I, I'm not, I'm not, I just don't know enough about the Assange situation um, to say whether you know he should be punished or not punished. Uh, but I, I do think that uh, I'm generally in favor of freedom of information and, and like if there's any doubt we should lean on the side of freedom of information um so you know, and how I about mean, how about edward snowden who has